Well guys, today's episode is going to be a little bit different than usual. Today I'm going to be telling you all about how much I spent to get my van from just a basic works van to the awesome camper that it is today. So to start off the list, what I needed were windows, a cooker and sink, the electric kit, foam for the mattress, all my IKEA bits and bobs, carpet to fill so that the gaps in the areas, a little dehumidifier, and of course, obviously all the wood that you see that I use to fill the ceiling, the side panels, and also the uh, flooring that I managed to pick up that I had left over from my previous house. Now I haven't included everything on the list because some of the things I got, I got for free, like the little shoe rack, other cutlery stuff I, we already had for camping gear. Um, so a lot of this stuff was recycled, it's what I had lying about, so if I don't pick up on that, I'm really sorry, but that this is actually how much I spend. Now under the kitchen we have the cool box, the gas, all the water tanks, all the pipes needed, and all my IKEA bits. Last but not least we have the solar panel kit, my awning, and the roof rack that came with all of that. So just for a breakdown, we have the electric kit, the windows, the awning, solar kit, cooker sink, foam mattress, IKEA parts, wood, insulation, cool box, air springs, dehumidifier, carpet, fabric, fabric for like the curtains and everything else that we made, paint, water tanks, gas, well it was a refill because we already had the tank, pump, screws, hinges, etc. and pipes. For all of that, my total came to £2,768 including the cost of the van, which was £12,500, grand total £15,268. Now I understand the cost of the van seems quite high, but if you just look at how much it costs to convert it, I spent my money on brand new parts, good quality, and managed to convert a completely blank van into what it is now for only £2,768, which I think is actually a pretty damn good deal. I'm sure you could still save a lot more money if you got secondhand parts or you did a bit more shopping around but at the end of the day I'm definitely not miffed. £2,768 for the whole conversion seems like a great price in my mind. Let me know what you guys think. Would you have done anything different? Is there anything else you would have added? 